Okay, so here we have the first four index laws. I'm going to run you through them just as a bit of a review. You should have learnt these in year eight, and I think we looked at them a bit um, briefly earlier in the year. But if you look here at the first slide I've got, um, just a bit of vocabulary to remind you of, um, we have got uh, the coefficient, which is the number that goes in front of the um, base. And the base is the number that you are raising to a new power. So an example um, could be, uh, let's have a look, uh, 3, oops, 3x to the power of 4. And I apologise because the slate I'm using here is not the best. Um, so 3x to the power of 4. 3 would be the coefficient, x is the base, and 4 is the power. And you'll notice there are um, four different words we can use for power. Index, power, order, or exponent. And um, if you remember the rules for the order of operations, bod maths or bed maths are what we use, and the O or the E are referring to the O in bod maths or the E in bod maths, that's bed maths, that's what they're referring to. Okay, so first up, when you're multiplying together to um, two indexes or two indices, 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 5 is the example we've got here. 2 to the power of 3 we can write um, an expanded form as 2 times 2 times 2 and 2 to the power of 5 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 5 we end up with 8 twos all being multiplied together here or 2 to the power of 8. So generally the rule for this is uh, x to the power of n times x to the power of m equals x to the power, oops, take that back, x to the power of m plus N. And that should be familiar to you already, and uh, when I set some questions for you to do, then you should better do that. really hate this slate that I'm using, but bear with me. Okay, um, for division, it's a very similar situation here in that we have got 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 3. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 5 twos, divided by 2 times 2 times 2, 3 twos. They cancel out, cancel 1 for 1. And when I cancel them out, I'm just left with 2 of them there, or 2 to the power of 2. And you can see the general form down here, written out already. Whereas before when we were multiplying them, it was m plus n. When you are dividing, you actually need to subtract. Okay, raising powers to another power. Um, this is where we need to actually multiply these two powers together. So I've just written down the general form here, and if I do an example, let's say if we had um, 3x to the power of 2, and all of that to the power of 3, I need to raise everything inside here to the power of 3, so I, I don't, mustn't forget to raise the coefficient to the power of 3. So 3 to the power of 3 is 27. 27. And x squared to the power of 3 is going to be x to the power of 2 times 3. which will equal 27x to the power of 6. Like I said before, these rules are things that you should already be familiar with. So we're just going to, I'm going to give you a few questions to do um, for you to check on the online learning platform just to um, Refamiliarize yourself with it. Okay, um, 
the other thing, the other, the last rule is that x to the power of zero is always equal to one if x is not equal to zero. So zero to the power of zero would still would just not not be anything. So for every other number besides zero, x to the power of zero equals one. So you know, ten to the power of zero equals one. Yay, got that right. Okay. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to introduce to you um, the further laws because you've learnt the first four. There are other laws, uh, index laws, and I'll introduce them to you um, next Monday and give you some further work. But um, look for the other work on the OLP. Bye for now.